Hi again, everyone. This is Peachy. Okay, so as you saw in my post, it said, Cancer world is like religion. And why do I say that? Because it kind of is. I guess it depends on what your belief is. Just like in religion, you know, there's so many different beliefs. And this is, you know, Catholics believe this. And Lutherans believe that. And Baptists believe that. So it depends on what your belief is. And the cancer world is the same thing. Because I hear doctors saying one thing about eating, this is what you should eat, this is what you shouldn't eat, and then another one says, okay, well then this is, no, this is the way you should go. Some say, oh, eating can help cure you, can, you know, can help you, not cure you, but it can, it can help you heal faster. And then there's some that's saying, oh, no, 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 we got to go with just medicine, you know, medicine, medicine's the only way. So it's like, okay, what do you want to believe? I mean, I've been reading and looking on the internet watching youtube videos and checking to see what things are out there and me personally i'm thinking it has a lot to do with the food so i was kind of excited to learn about this ketogenic diet and the rainbow diet you know but i have questions about it i'm not too sure about like what's really good and what's not and then i heard i've read something about fasting as well which makes sense you know you fast and that way you can kind of reset your whole body because you've been eating all that toxic food which i have unfortunately i'm sorry about that um <clears throat> anyway so i called my doctor today and i told her listen i would like to talk to a nutritionist you know a holistic nutritionist nutritionist if possible and she told me, weirdly enough, that she didn't really have anybody that she knew. So, and this is my cancer doctor. She didn't have anybody that's more like the oncology side. So she was going to get in touch with them and see if she can get a recommendation. Which I thought was kind of odd because she deals with cancer. So isn't nutrition part of this? You know, you got to eat healthy. You got to eat better for your body because... It's, it's got to be supplemented correctly rather than just medicine. And then even more so, I also told her I was thinking, you know, because I told her about the ketogenic diet and stuff. And she said that, um, well, no, I'm sorry. Oh, so I told her about the ketogenic diet. And then I told her that, uh, you know, it has some to do with fasting. And I was thinking about it. And I want to talk to somebody about it. She said that she was told not totally against it but she said she didn't think it was a good idea which kind of shocked me because she's japanese so that's like eastern medicine kind of thinking you know but i guess because she's a doctor and she's been here you know it's all about let's pump them with with medicine so yeah so that was kind of discouraging anyway but i'm having a hard time with the eating stuff because i don't know which way to go okay so i was i've been watching a whole bunch of other stuff like i said i found out like in the mediterranean diet that one you need to have hang on i'm trying to think high carbs um um, um low fat and i think it was low protein and then for the ketogenic diet and that's for to help with cancer and stuff it's the total opposite it's low to no carbs high fat good fats and limited protein for the mediterranean one it was supposed to be um it, it's supposed to be helping with your heart well i have high cholesterol so i gotta kind of watch out for that but i thought it was kind of funny because i'm sitting there going okay so the mediterranean is the opposite of the ketogenic and then you so you got mediterranean good for the heart protect your heart and then you get the ketogenic that's supposed to be good to get rid of cancer so if i do one that because because remember you one is one is high carb the other one is low carb if i do the mediterranean one to help with my heart it's gonna kill me with cancer <laughs> and then if i do the ketogenic one that's supposed to help me with my cancer well, dude, I might have a heart attack. So I'm just like, uh, <laughs> I'm so confused. I'm really frustrated right now. And I really, really wish I could talk to a, a nutritionist. And then I find out from a friend of, oh, excuse me. I found out from a friend of mine that here it, where I live in the state of Maryland, that nutritionists don't even have to be certified 
to call themselves nutritionists. They can just say that they are. And so I'm like, oh, great. So when I go talk to that person, it'll be based on what her belief is of what's good for me to eat. So, yeah, it's like religion. Because, you know, it, I, I guess I just got to go with what I think is right. It's kind of just like, no, there's no, okay, this is what you should do. This is how you should eat. This is how we're going to treat it. It's such a gray line. I, I, so we'll see how this goes. I just know I'm just kind of frustrated about this. Yeah, so there you go. Sorry, I, this time I was a Debbie Downer. I'm so sorry I didn't mean to be. I'm just a little frustrated about this cancer stuff because, you know, I want this thing out of my body. I want to, if I can, let my body heal itself and, and, and kill it on its own. And I'm willing to shoot i'm willing to fast for three to five days drink nothing but water <laughs> you know I, I i want this gone ah <sighs> i don't know if, how fast that would work i don't even know i mean i try to look it up to see if anybody went through it but i haven't seen any studies and so i don't know i don't know I'll, i guess in the end i just prefer maybe this would be just the lumpectomy and i'll just do the radiation get it out of the way i'm just kind of scared that it might be a little bit more, you know, and if I have the gene, then they both got to come out and, oh, it's a little scary. Yeah, I guess it's starting to hit me now. I don't know. Oh, well, I'm trying to look at the positive side. I'm still here, right? So that's good. And I'm making videos. I guess that's good. If anybody's watching, I don't know. <laughs> if anybody's even interested about my rant, my daily rant. So, all right, that's about it. Have a good one, everyone.